Portland is slowly coming back to life. Where a year ago, just about everything was shut down from restaurants to retail. We lost about 95% of our business right out of the gate as far as our wholesale business was concerned. Even local theater and cultural centers couldn't operate. Without that in-person contact, either in the studio or on stage, uh, it's been really, really challenging. As business owners in the Rose City continue to fight to keep the lights on, one area of town is expected to see a quicker recovery. That's along the central east side of town. The Central East Side Industrial Council teamed up with Eco Northwest, a company that specializes in economic planning. They just released a report showing that this part of Portland will have an easier time recovering economically. The reason? I think that manufacturing really can um, help pull Portland out of this crisis. And those manufacturing jobs have been on the rise lately. Just ask Kim Malik, owner and founder of Salt and Straw. They make their ice cream along Southeast 2nd Avenue. So it's a really cool area, um, you know, to be part of kind of keeping manufacturing in the heart of Portland. And, and we made a distinct decision to, to ensure that we were part of the you know, group of companies that were making that happen. Malik says she's already seeing signs of growth. We're, we're really struggling to keep up with the open positions we have um, and, and fill those roles, um, which I think is a good sign. It's an economic recovery that's expected to take years. I like the idea of Central East Side becoming a, a, a stronger knit community, uh, which is definitely something that I want to focus on during the reopen. But recovery that many businesses like Joel Gunderson with Cooper's Hall hope will bring companies both big and small together. I love hearing any positive news because we don't we don't get too much general positive news. Joe Ranieri, KGW News.